Miller's earned a little respect and has him blocked. Oh, 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 Jim using that shot to get him down. Jim's looking for oh, the guillotine. Explodes he into it. it. Jim Miller with the submission attack. He's trying to adjust. He does not have the right leg over, though. Well, he's got that pretty tight, though, Mike. Trying to finish it. Oh, he might have it. He might have it. He's very, very, very close. Boy, Yancey's trying to get out of it. Wow. Boy, Yancey's got hard, I'll tell you that, man. A lot of guys would have tapped there. He's out of it. the guy celebrate while the guy's unconscious on top of him. The kid's arm, legs are like arms, man. Now he's attacking the leg. Crazy busy. Yeah, he just keeps going, you know? He just chains one thing into next. Oh, and he took him down. Look, he's going for a leg lock. Big shots to the body. Jim's got a leg lock. It is all over! It is all over! Jim Miller submits Charles Oliveira! Size. And a counter. Oh, he's down. Miller. Miller. Oh, side control. This is what he wanted, Mike. This is exactly what he wanted. Boom. Look at that. Instant mount. This is bad for Ludwig. Miller, a very solid brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And this is a bad spot for Ludwig. Ludwig explodes, but he's going to give up an arm. He's got to be careful. Miller, oh, Miller the adjusted, adjusted very nicely. That arm is very close, Mike. Looking to finish the fight. Can he get the arm bar? Looking He's for the submission. His hips. So far, Ludwig is doing a great job of defending. He's got, got it. He got it. It is all over. Wow. Jim Miller submits Dwayne Ludwig. And Jim Miller looking to try to lock up a submission on Kamoy's. Looking for that arm bar. Can he get it? He's got it in position. He set that up nicely. He baited him with the left and attacked the right. He got him! It is all wow. over. Jim Miller. Unbelievable. The one I always have to be careful with is that right hand right down the pipe. And there's another knee. But it opens him up. And that's the risk every time you throw a flying knee. That's what you open yourself up to is that counter with the double leg. Yeah, knee certainly found its target, but now Jim Miller has the takedown. We'll see what he can do with it. Melvin has been trading with some high-level guys on the ground, and here he is. He's able to escape the first attempt at the back, but Miller is in a very good position here. Gallard looking to get out. Jim Miller has great position here, trying to crank the neck. Doesn't have it under the chin, but he can't. Oh, there it is. So the attack from Melvin Gallard. And Jim Miller, despite the early onslaught from Gallard, locks up the submission. Two minutes and ten seconds remains in the matchup. Lightweight fight, David Barron from Paris, France. Jim Miller from Whippany, New Jersey. Barron is uh, showing a lot of resilience here. He's, he's doing a, a real good job of avoiding submissions, but uh, he's you know, done nothing to win the fight. Joe, I said to Jim Miller earlier today, I said... All right, now he's got it under the neck. He's Can got he it deep, it here? Mike. That's deep, that's it. It is all over! We couldn't tell from this angle, Mike, but it looked like what he did was he controlled one arm so that he couldn't defend it and then sunk the choke in. In, in almost every one of Meyer's fights, as soon as they get locked into this position, it's Meyer that's chasing the takedown. Nice, nice. takedown there from Ben. I think he tried about three different oh, ways in there. Here we go. Uses it to maybe pass. Beautiful sweep. 
Look at that pressure as well. He's going to be a mount oh, with two minutes left. Nice work there by Meyer. Short cuts his way, looking for the mount. Possible, possible uh, back take here. Looking for that wrist control if Askren turns his back. Well, he got that hook in. Go for a body triangle now. Damian Meyer is tied for the second most submission wins in oh. UFC history. Oh, this is trouble. It would be very sweet if he was to get one in this contest against Askren. Ben has got to try to Beautiful, look this. at that! Look at that punch through by Damian Meyer. You can see the grimace on Ben Askren's face. He's struggling for air. There oh, and there's the top! He's out! Oh! Damian, Damian Meyer, Meyer with the win! He can choke! Here in Singapore! Wow! Softening him up with punches. And Rick Story has to go full defense here. Maya's getting it across the face. Rick Story defends. He's got to go two on one here, Mike. He's got to grab two of his hands and control at least one of Maya's. He cannot let him get an arm under the chin. Man. He's got him on the face. He's going to switch it to palm to palm and just crush his Trying neck. Trying to finish it here. And see how he's turning his neck here? He's turning it into a neck lock. Oh, oh you see my the blood goodness. Part of the show's there. No, it is it. all over. How Damian Maia by Maya. submission. He passes to the left side. So let's keep an eye out for that if it hits the ground again. So it's like it's like when he takes on an opponent, everything's happening opposite of what they think. Similar to boxing, obviously, against a southpaw if you're not accustomed to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I don't exactly agree with that because everybody does. Oh, beautiful takedown! Oh, and right. right into a triangle position. If he gets his right leg underneath Chael Son and he is in a triangle, look at that! Bam! Oh. That's it. How good That's is Damian Maya? That's how good he is. Son and triangle. He's pulling the it's all over. That's how good Damian Maya is. In his repertoire. Kenny, in the first round, Herman was never able to posture up, and now there's no control for Maya. At least very, very little control of Herman posturing up and then coming back down with strikes. A couple things going on. Oh, beautiful! Tri oh, almost a triangle by Maya. Very smooth transition. Herman's starting to find his rhythm a little bit here. Oh, except he's caught another triangle. This may be the end. This fight. I think this is the end, Goldie. It's tight. It's if wrapped Herman up very gets out tight. Of this, wow. He spins. Right Maya in the mouth. still has it. Herman's in trouble. He's going to have to tap or he's out. Maya pounding away. He is out. He it is out. It is all over. And look really mainly to elbows. Instead of wasting energy to get up, they want to attack, attack, attack. Slice Damian Maya up with elbows and strikes. Maya, truly a lifelong martial artist. Second longest win streak in the division behind Stephen Thompson's seven fight win streak. He is so heavy here. Nothing flashy, but step by step. Look at pushing on the knee, immediately shoving that left knee to the floor, looking to get straight to mount. And now the back. This is not good for Carlos Khan. Fourth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt on your back. Here early. Fresh, no sweat yet. Very dangerous. He is so hard to shake out of this position. Ricky Lundell right there next to Condit, his wrestling coach, his grappling coach. This is bad. This is where he finished Matt Brown. He only needed one arm. Can and he, he just... get it? Here goes. It is all over! Damian Maya chokes out Carlos Condit. As I said before in an earlier fight, not only is Lyman good fighter in the hands, he's also carrying the weight of Damian Maya, which is putting a lot of strain on the legs and the back. Good composure here, though, from Lyman Good. Absolutely. 25 professional fights. He's doing the right things. He's staying calm. He's fighting the hands. The day... Oh, and there's the tap. Wow! Welcome back, Damian Maya. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Maya's got his back. Maya looking to finish here. Oh, bad spot Can for Maya Jensen. Jensen. Yeah. He's got it. It's deep. Oh, my. Can Jensen get out of it? Jensen's one arm away. Controlling one of those hands. Very difficult. 
If he can control one of the hands, it's very difficult for a guy to choke you with one hand. But Damian Maya is getting close to choking him with one hand, especially if he can get that second hook in. Right now, he's only got one hook. If he can get his right leg in between Matt Cru the material, the Brian Jensen's leg and his body, he's got it right there. That's the second hook. Ryan's doing a good job of holding that off, but when he did that... It is all over! It is all over! Damian Maya wins by rear naked choke! As well. Absolutely. Based on that criteria. Yeah, but yep. Jason McDonald is, is showing some tremendous heart. Right. And he could very likely pull this fight off. Especially if he can get it back to his feet. Look at this, he's got Maya's back again! Jason he's got to be careful, though, because he's inside control here. If he lets go of that, oh, nice, he rolled over, and he's on top. He, that was a precarious position there, Mike, because if you let go of that neck, he could have had, uh, Maya could have had side control on him, which he does now. And now Maya right moves to the mount. Man, he, how smooth are the transitions of Damian Maya? Beautiful sweep. You know, they talk about the great athletes who make it look effortless, and that's what Maya does when he goes from position to position. Maya looks exhausted here, though. This has been a grueling fight. And, and, and he had a bit of a tough cut. I saw him working very diligently to get down, and he's still somewhat new to this game. And the one thing he has is these great skills on the ground, as good as anybody's, as he continues to get and earn respect and earn experience, he could be a serious contender for the middleweight title somewhere down the road. And Jason McDonald's showing a lot of improvement himself. He's oh, getting, for sure. He's getting eaten up here with some big punches, though. Little short, undefended punches, but he's okay. Father of four. Tristan Keel, Jet and True. Oh, he's got the arm under the chin here, Mike. He's got the back. Oh, he's and it's all That's over. It. Damian Maya chokes out Jason McDonald. Back it's a mount, potential finish here. Full back mount with the body triangle. Body triangle, and note the left butterfly hook under the left knee of Magny. That's terrible. He's controlling that leg. See how Neil's trying to get it free and shake it up? Damien has excellent control of Neil Magny here. And Neil trying to pry that triangle loose, but he's got to be real careful in doing so because when he reaches a hand down, he only has one hand to defend. Now the hand is Can going under the here? chin. Maya looking for a submission finish. And Neil has to pick his poison here. Either he rolls towards his left to try to get that body triangle off, but if he does that, then he exposes the choke more. Maya looking for his seventh submission victory inside He's the tapping. octagon. He's, He's got tapping. it. And it's all over. Damian Maya, winner by submission. Champions, you're, you're not going to feel this level of technicality. He's got the body lock in. He's going to try to loosen up Corey and He's finish with the choke. He's got the, the body triangle in, holding Nate Quarry in place, and what that is to make sure that Nate Quarry can't turn into him and wind up in his guard. There's a real bad spot for Nate Quarry very early. And slowly, he's gonna sneak that left arm across Nate, Nate Quarry's face under his chin and try to get in that rear naked choke. If you see him grab a hold of his hands, and there he's got it, yeah. he's slowly digging that underneath the chin, He's going to slowly pull it across. Nate's doing a good job so far of avoiding it, holding on to the gloves, pushing the arms away from him. He's trying to turn into him, but that body triangle is keeping him from doing that. That's the key, the legs right now, to controlling the position. And especially if he can roll him over on his stomach and have that body triangle in, that's going to put a lot of pressure on Nate Quarry's back. You see the tattoo, Sierra, his eight-year-old daughter, Nate Quarry's on his back. He doesn't want to see this, though. He's got it this underneath the chin trouble. now, Mike. This is bad. This is He's big got trouble. It. That's a it is Taps. all over. Damian Maya by rear naked choke. Under a minute. In each round, Maya, as the round ticks down, he's converted this position, looking for that arm ball. And now he may be on the chin. Can he get it here? Final minute of the fight. This is tight. He has looking for the finish. Escudero. That was a good kick by Escudero, but Oliveira's got all of it down. Nicely done by the 20-year-old. He's got him down, trying to pass that left leg, but unable to. And Escudero scrambles to his feet quickly. Oliveira's got his back. He's got to be careful. He's going to throw him forward here. He's got it under his neck, though. 
Wow. Oliveira's got the choke. Trying to submit Efrain Escudero. Oh, he's got it in deep. That's it is all over. It is all over. Believable. Charles Oliveira. Cut two that Guida's dealing with. Who knows how the judges saw it. Of course, there were big moments for Tamer in that first yeah. round with a knockdown, but he did lose the point. So you, at, at the very least, it's a 9-9 round, but perhaps oh! a 10-8. And a forearm He's shiver there from Ole Vetter. Oh, this is it. Who's He's letting it go? Him. The, the, Charles wow. Ole Vetter trying to end the fight. Tamer with and the Hail is. Mary, but He's look out. He's good. trying for another He's submission. It. And there is oh, the tear. He continues wow. to pile onto his record. Yagos hasn't been throwing any of those. Nice. Once again, great timing. Quick on the level change for Oliveira. No time to work. And he's in his office with two minutes to go in the second round. And now he's on the back. Welcome to exactly where you don't want to be. If you're Yagos right now. Hook in, he's doing body triangle. It's like a backpack. Oh, and now the hook arm is under. It's done. Looking for history. There it is. Charles Oliveira. The most submission wins in you. Art is so excellent. He's so good off of his back, his movement, that he can stand up straight. He catches the kick and wisely is on his back. Nice shot with the right hand. Trying to better his position. Wise has got to keep moving, keep moving. It is Dubronx. He does not want Oliveira passing his guard here. He's got to be very diligent to avoid these heavy shots from the top here. Yep, and from our vantage point, Joe, you can see a huge red welt on the leg of Wisely from one of those early leg kicks. Yeah, we can really see that on that left leg. Trying to work him around. Oh, drop down for a heel hook. Looking to finish it quick by Sasha. He's, He's got it. Can he get it right here? Oh, man. He slipped right out of it. Very nicely done by Wisely. He turned over exactly the right way. But his foot is still trapped in there. He can turn it into a knee bar, but not now. The knee is a little bit further down on the crotch. He's out of it. But he's got to be careful here because oh, Oliveira's going to take his back. Look over it, look over it. Man, nice he transitioning and it's all over. Oh, wow. He had his leg locked in a terrible position there. Hey, maker from Lee. Yeah, that right hand is connecting every time. Oh, gonna wash that neck. Now this Kevin is Lee bad. Caught down. This is bad. Here, he's gonna. Oliveira forces the tap. Charles Oliveira, another submission. He extends the record, the biggest win of his career. See, like right now, what he wants to do is turn towards his right, but Oliveira rolls to his right, rides him out. But now, jury's in a better position because one hooks out. He's almost back up to his feet, but he's got a guillotine here. He's got to make sure that Oliveira doesn't connect his hands together. Oliveira pummeling that right hand under, looking to connect the hands. Uh -oh. He's got the hands connected. Now he's hanging on the neck. Jury's in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, it's all over. There. Charles Oliveira! And this is exactly what you want to do if you're Jim Miller. You want to pressure him, but what an attempt wow. by Charles really Oliveira. Cool. Way to change levels and take Jamila back. Charles Oliveira wasted. Oh no man, you don't want him on you don't want no him on your time. back like He's this. Got that under the chin. Oh my see. goodness, you don't want him on your back like this. It's not under the chin. Miller has to attack that top hand. Oh, he's got that leg right in. He's got a half Nelson on the far side. Makes it hard for Jim to turn back to his left. That half Nelson makes sure he can't turn. Oh, now he's going back to the choke. He is all over Jim Miller, throwing the tips on both sides. Oh, he's in trouble. It's over. Oh, that's it's over. It's over. Wins from Jim Miller, trying to fight off this It's choke. over. It's over. He's not even fighting the hands. Oh, he's trying. Oh. Is he behind the head yet? Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. There's the tap. Wow. Charles Oliveira oh. does it again. Wow. Looks like he's going to make it up. He's back up, and he eats a knee. And wow. Very good tight waist. I mean, right away, Oliveira looks so much stronger. Yeah, that's in. It's in. No, Moving not quite. He's got the chin in. Bill Brooks has that chin no. in there fairly, but this is where you see Oliveira work the best. He's so sneaky at getting those wrists underneath the chin. And this is where he submitted Efrain Escudero in his UFC debut. Same sort of situation. And he can get the naked. Right here. Like and he can get it. Yep.
He's got it in deep here. Oh, Rick Baker is in deep, deep trouble here. Deep trouble. He's going to go out. That's it. He's got it. That choke's done. Rick's fighting hard here. Wow. This is intense. Will is barely staying conscious here. He's down. That's it. He got it. Man, really showing how beautiful Brazilian Jiu Jitsu can be. Hatsu Hioki trying to lock it down. Getting tight around that neck of Charles Oliveira. Oliveira still protected. It's around the chin. Excellent escape from Oliveira. Let's see if he can get back on top. Hioki's out of position. Wow. A battle of black belts. Oliveira looking for that Darce again and again. Now sitting to guard. Trying to lock it up here. Kind of a modified Peruvian choke here, and he's got it! It's all over! Charles Oliveira, the first to submit, Hatsu Hioki! So Andy Ogle proven to be game once again. Oliveira trying to land that up kick. Look at this, Oliveira with the triangle choke. That's very tight now. That's oh, it. there's the tap. Charles Oliveira, yet another submission win inside the octagon. <laughs>